Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. How are y'all doing today? I have a 16 by 20 inch uh, canvas today that I'm just going to do a dirty pour on. I have my cup ready and I put down, and I'm using enamel today. So my base coat here is 50% uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, 50% um, Dutch Boy Forever Enamel, and a squirt of GAC 800 was added to that, and then I just added water until I got my desired consistency. I'm hoping to get a cloudy effect today, if possible. To make it simple today, I'm using all Liquitex Basic Paints. So let's get started with the colors. I have Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple and cadmium yellow medium hue and i have their silver and i have their gold i have uh, bright aqua green i have the turquoise blue And lastly, I have the phthalo blue. I just thought I'm going to give all the Liquitex Basics a try today. Stay with one uh, brand of paint. And the pouring medium for the paints, the colored paints, is uh, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, a squirt of GAC 800, about a teaspoon of the Liquitex um, gloss medium and varnish. And then I, I did add a little bit of water to desired consistency. So what I'm gonna do is just pour all my paints in my cup and I think I'm just going to drizzle it all over the painting, do some tipping and then see what happens. So let's get started on layering these paints. Sometimes I layer them down the side. Today I think I'm just going to just layer them right in the cup, right, right across each other here. Kind of mix them up a little more. Oh, and I did want to add um, spot on treadmill silicone. I'm going to add maybe two drops in the purple and a couple of drops in the blue. We'll see how that goes. Two drops in each one of those. And I'll just stir that up. We can get some cells today. I haven't used silicone in a long time, so see what we get. So I'm going, by pouring the paint up higher like that, it is going to uh, mix a little more. And I am going to put some of the enamel mixture in with the paints. And I'm hoping that I just will not get mud today. See how lucky I am. And I hope everybody's keeping busy and occupied during this quarantine period. I know each state has a different situation now. with some of the states allowing you to get out a little bit more in public and go to public places. You 
And while I'm layering the paints, there was something that I was going to um, talk about, and that is pouring mediums for paint. I watched a lot, a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of different artists, and it seems like every artist just finds that pouring medium that really works well for them. And some, I know a couple of artists that just use water with their paints or some that'll just use water and just a little dab of pouring medium like Liquitex. But it's basically the water is what they add to get their desired consistency. And then some artists like me, my favorite is the Floetrol GAC to help prevent cracking and crazing. And then the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, it gives my paint just a little bit of glossy feel. And, and I like that. And then if need be, I like to thin it with the water. But usually my water too, the water that I add is a combination of 90% water in a 10% Floetrol mixture that I just put in a squirt bottle. I tend to try and stay away from a lot of water with my paints if, if I can. I would rather use more of the, um, the Floetrol than water. But my point being that experiment Oh, and there's also, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, there's a lot of really good artists out there that use the Elmer's Glue All in water, either at a 70 and 30 consistency or a 60, 40. And there's even artists that use Floetrol, glue, and water. But the glue and water is a cheaper means of a pouring medium than buying some of the more expensive brand pouring mediums like Liquitex or Golden. And you just need to experiment until you find what works the best for you. And I've used a couple of combinations that unfortunately my, my paintings cracked and, and I didn't go back to those because that's Sometimes you can save a painting with cracking by using, oh, marking pens or the Pos uh, Posco pens. Our, um, Arteza has some nice pens that you can use. And you can color those cracks in to match or uh, just embellish your painting instead of having to uh, paint over it or not use it at all just to try and save it. So just experiment with your pouring medium until you find one that that really works for you and, and that you like. And then too, for different pours, the thickness of your paint makes a difference too. Today my paint is, is a little bit on the thinner side. Not real, real thin, but now if you wanted to do a ring pour, your paint would have to be a little thicker so you could keep the integrity of the rings. But if you're just going to do a flip cup or a dirty pour, or any of those, your, your paint can be a little bit thinner so it mixes more. Or um, a swipe. Swipes are quite popular. The kiss pours, I'd imagine the kiss pours, the paint would have to be a little bit thinner too.
Okay, I have all my paints in my cup. And like I said, I'm just going to um, start pouring the paint down the middle here and see what happens. And maybe I'll bring it back up again. And this is where you can play with your paint any way you want. And I do see some cell action going on there already. I'm going to get the paint out of the cup here. Okay. And I am going to put some of the white around here to help the paint move a little. And I think I will torch before I start tipping. I do like the color combination so far. Okay, and now I'm just gonna start the tipping. I'm trying to really move the paint here. Really loving these colors. Okay. Just going to check my sides and my corners now. And I'm going to bring it down just a little bit here. Just going to let a little bit of that paint run off down there at that far end. Okay. And 
and I think I'm just going to tip a little bit down this way. This corner. And I'm going to bring that back. Okay. And I'm just going to let it sit here a minute. And I'm going to again look at the composition. I really love what's going on in this painting. Those colors are just playing so well with each other. And I'm going to clean off the bottom here. And I'm going to get another torch. See what we bring up here. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that, and I think I will get you down for a close-up. Okay, here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And I'm bringing you down the left side here. Really love that purple and the blue, how they played so well together. A little bit of the cloud effect, not much. A lot of nice cells going on. Very pretty in there, that purple. You can see a little bit of the clouding around that purple there. bringing you up here and I like this area it's a little bit more plain and that is nice because the rest of the painting is a little bit busy nice area in here very colorful and this is the area I really like is this really dark blue here and I when I was doing my tipping, I, that's why I pulled that down because I wanted to just pull that out and thin that out. And that's really something that'll catch the eye there is that purple and that blue together. And I'll bring you over to the, this is the lower right hand side here. And I'll bring you up the right. That's pretty in there. Very pretty. It's a lot going on in this painting. I'm really happy with it. That is very pretty in there too, how all those colors are just running together. And in this area, that's very different too. And there's the upper right-hand corner. 
So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, video. Make sure and share it. I hit the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.